Peace, my people. This one I am going to be speaking about the pole shift. The pole shift is not the plane or the planet shifting or flipping. Okay? The pole shift is not the changing of positions or the flipping of the axis. The pole shift from my research is the changing of power and control. Who will rule for the next 7,000 years? What type of technology will rule and we will be using for the next 7,000 years? Now you got to understand that 2018 was the ushering in of the age of Aquarius and if you add 2018 up you will see it all comes out to 111 January 1st 2018 so basically we're into the second year counting to the year 7000 seven that we count we're in the second year counting up to 7000 years and you know so basically how you can tell the switching of time shifts within the calendar system is it will always come down to the binary code of one, 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 one. That's how you know when we're shifting into something different within the plane that we live on here in Earth, on Earth. Now, because Earth is a stable plane or planet that does not move okay there is no such thing as a pole shift my people you can do the research yourself and this is coming from my research the earth is a torus field within a torus field and when I was researching this and really saw it for my own self with my own two eyes which came one eye which gave me the truth when I was looking at this it's true um, the Taurus fields like you can even say the Jews were hiding the Taurus fields within the Torah okay check that one out the earth is also a hyperboloid toroidal field within the Taurus field is a flat plane which is zero degrees and is also a five okay the Taurus field is latitude and longitude so there are Taurus fields going across and Taurus fields going sideways which are rings okay there are seven heavens which are all even. The earth is made up of rings. All the ancient maps of cosmology of the earth show you the rings starting within the center of the earth which is a black dot. Okay, which the pygmies come from that center of the earth. The shortest, shortest people, the dwarfs, the midgets, those were the first people to come out of the center of the earth. And as they migrated out of the center of the earth, going upward from within out, they got taller and taller and taller. Okay? There is only darkness. Okay? Now, I had myself have done... A meditation and basically I've done a meditation with my eyes open where I held my eyes open as long as possible and when that I did hold my eyes open that long everything became black pitch black darkness with my eyes open okay so basically there is nothing but darkness and you come back to the light you come back to this existence. There is only darkness and from the darkness comes light. Proof, there is only one eye that shows you two dimensions, dark and light. And from dark and light, you perceive multi-dimensions which you choose to make your reality or actuality. Now, I want to add this also that NSAA NSA equals NY 
and Y equals New York. NSAA, if you flip the letters around, is where NASA, the Space Center, birthed its name from the ancient African tribe Ashanti and Adinkra. So NASA got its name from the great African tribes Ashanti and Adinkra. Check that out. Peace my people and have a great day.